Hi, welcome to another episode of the 8-Bit Metro Refix. Wow, 2022. This is the first video of a refix video for 22. And on this week's video, we're going to be doing the composite. Not composite, but well, we are doing composite. But we're going to do the audio fix on this one. You can buy the little boards, but I wanted to do this one correctly um, and replace all the resistors on the board necessary to change the audio. It's well known that the plus three and the plus two um, were really bad with the audio. It's crunchy, it's grindy, it's not very nice at all. Um, so we're going to do that and then I'll do a comparison test towards the end of it as well. I'm also going to do a, a composite mod. Um, it's a little, little mod which cleans the picture up um, and you'll see how that's cleaned up as well further on in the video. So this is going to be sort of part three. Um, if you want to watch part one and part two, I'll pop a link down the bottom so you can get to the part one and part two and watch me fully restore this unit all the way through. I'll also pop links in the bottom as well so you can get to console five so you can, you can order the um, audio mod and you only need a 1k resistor anyway to do the composite mod which is really nice. So yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do on this week's video. So let's get to it. all the board out as you can see um, I didn't need to show you how to take this all apart again uh, you did see all this being stripped down in part one and part two if you want to see part one part two um, I'll pop a link down in the bottom um, so you can access that so well, I'm going to start with R42 and R43 um, the parts are supplied by console 5 so have a look on their website, you should be able to pick this kit up. So I've separated them down because of my poor old eyes. So I've separated them down so I can see exactly what they are on a piece of paper for me. Um, so right, I'm going to start with R42. What I'm going to do is lift the resistor out of the board and then we'll clean the board up afterwards. So I'm going to pop out R42 and R43 first. Right, okay, so um, the video packed up while I was recording all that lot. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Just what you wanted when you're doing a YouTube video. So, going back, this is Console 5's kit. It's the same kit as what Mark Fixit stuff used when he did his mod. So, I'm going to walk you through what we've changed. So first of all, we've changed R42 for a 1.2K resistor. We've changed R43 for a 5.6K resistor. Let's see if we can find these for you now, because I'm going to get lost all over the board. R62 is over here, which has been changed for a 1.5K resistor. 63 and 64 I think 64 was over here and 64 was changed for a 6.8k 67 I believe was down here which was recorded, changed for a 15k resistor 72 which is up here that was changed for a 820 home resistor 
Our 206 went in with this with TR5, which I'll put some pictures up and show you where these all are for you while I'm chatting along. Um, so, what we have to do is to lift the leg um, on the other side of this TR5. Um, all I did is bend it up, as you can see in that image, um, soldered the resistor to it, and popped it back in, and resoldered it back into the board. On the back of the board, just here, a couple of points here. And then what I did is to clean up the video composite, which was R44, I'll show you on the other side of the board in a minute, is this side here. So all I've done is put a 1K resistor and just piggybacked the R44 composite. And to be fair, it's cleaned it up a long way. So when we get this all put back together, I'll show you, and then I'll do the comparison on the sound for you as well. So that's what I did. A 1K resistor piggybacked over R44. R44 is up here. The solder on these were a little bit poor so I didn't really want to go into it too much um, and risking lifting the pads. These boards are very delicate for lifting traces and pads if you're not very careful. So that's it, we've done that. I've also removed C37 capacitor which goes into the RF box, it doesn't need it. That also cleans up as well. So I'm going to put this all this back together now and I'll come back to you as soon as it's all back together and I'll load up the comparison on the audio and you will see the comparison as well on the video so I'm going to slice it and chop it down bit by bit um, and flick it backwards and forwards so you can see the, the, the difference between the audio and the composite so I'll do that now So yeah, what did you think? I think that compositing mod with a little 1K resistor on there cleaned that picture up and made it a lot brighter, as you can see when we were doing the comparison. The audio mod, it has cleaned all that crunchy sound up. It did lower the sound a little bit um, in comparison to the normal output of the sound, so I had to crack the telly up a little bit more to get a more of a level on the sound. But it is a, a heck of a lot cleaner than what it was before. As you can see in the video, it was crunchy, um, messy, let's say. Um, and once it was done that mod, you, you could see when it was flicking backwards and forwards between the modded and the unmodded, you could actually see um, how clean and crisp 
it actually became. You can't see this, but when I were doing it in the editing software, um, and you can actually see the oscilloscopes for it, when you were looking at it, it were, it were very, very crunchy. I'll see if I put a picture up there and let you have a look at the differences between the two. Um, and on the body side of it, it were very crisp. So yeah, so that's the Spectrum Plus 3, Plus 2, Audio Mod. If you've enjoyed this video, and I've helped you go along, if you need any advice, drop me a comment. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and hit the little bell for the notifications for up and coming videos. And we'll see you on the next episode. Bye!